Hey everyone, this is Chrissy with Tackling the Giants, and today I want to do a video called the Book of Revelation, Revelation, and it's kind of a question. Um, it's something that I just thought that I find interesting, and I thought I would share with you guys and see what y'all thought. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to start off with um, talking about the word beheaded. So it's Strong's Concordance G607, and it's to decapitate. And you can see I put all the uses throughout the Bible there, okay? And it talks about um, John being beheaded um, in, looks like every single one of those is in the case of John being beheaded. But we have Matthew, Mark, and Luke, okay? So we have four instances, um, and it's consistent with G being G607, okay, in all instances where we know that that's exactly what it's talking about, John being beheaded, Okay. So just for consistency's sake, um, I'm going to put where if you look at the concordance number, it says it's from G575 and G2776, okay? So I'm going to put these up here just so we can stay consistent in what I'm going to do, what I'm going to show you in a little bit. So these are the two that it said it came from. And so G575 is off or away, okay? Um, so, you know, like the head is off, okay, that's the part, the off part, and then um, G2776 is in the sense of seizing the head, or take hold of the head, okay, so off with the head, basically, okay, um, is where that comes from, the decapitation, okay, so it's very clear that that, again, it's, I'm going to show you, it's G607, okay, so when we look in Revelation um, chapter 20, verse 4, it says, I saw the thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given to them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. And it's G3990, okay? It's it's different, okay? The other one, remember, was 607, okay? And this is the only instance in which this um, strong concordance number is used throughout the entire Bible, okay? And um, it says, from a derivative of G4141, and in parentheses, they say meaning an axe. I'm not real sure where they get that from. I'm not a, um, a Greek scholar by any means. So, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about concerning this. I, just as far as the concordance, I don't see where they get that from. Because I'm going to show you the G4141 down below that it says it's from. It says apparently another form. And apparently, like, it, to me, it just seems like they're not sure. Like, they're not sure, you know, um, what it is. But it says apparently another form of G4111 through the idea of flattening out to pound figuratively to inflict with calamity. And it says compare 5180. So we're going to go through that in a little bit. But continuing on with G3990, um, it says to chop off. And then it says in parentheses, the head, okay, or truncate. So um, like I said, this is the only instance in which this is used. I find it odd that they didn't use the other word that we know means beheaded. I just find that really odd. Um, so basically to chop off, um, could that mean cut off? Okay, like, could it be that I saw the souls of them that were cut off for the witness, like cut off from the world, you know, where you can't buy or sell? I don't know. I'm, I'm just um, brainstorming the possibility of this, okay? And um, flattening out or to pound so if we we're going to look at the next um it says apparently another form of 4111 so we're going to go to that next and it says um okay so i just put that up there on the top one just so that we could see from you know um the exact same one 4141 and i put the 4111 below and it says to mold shape or fabricate okay and so um, to mold, shape, or fabricate, we know that, you know, God created us. He molds us in his image. He created us from clay um, from or from dirt. And he says he forms us as clay, as a potter forms clay. So um, could it be that we were cut off from the world so that he could plea with us in the wilderness and that we could be formed um, to his liking? You know, um, I don't know. I'm just... Like I said, I'm just brainstorming and would like you guys' thoughts. Um, also, I put on there um, an instance of 4141 being used, um, and it's it's translated as smitten. The third part of the sun was smitten, okay? So it's like, it was like smitten or striked. 
Um, okay, and then it says that it also, it says compare 5180. So I'll put that on here, and that's um, thump or repeated, repeated blows, okay, um, to punish, okay, and it says, and then I'll put some down there that, he, you know, about how, and it's, it's basically the same thing as smiting. Um, so I don't know. What do y'all think? Because I just find it odd that that's just a different, um, why wouldn't they use the same, the same word if it's, if it's really beheaded? I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not beheaded. It could be, but I guess, I guess the reason I find this so interesting and I want to share is because, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, well, no one's dying or, you know, being beheaded or whatever. Well, what if that's, what if it's, if, if, what if it means cut off from the world or, um, you know, that they, um, let's see, let's go back to it. That I saw the souls of them that were cut off for the witness and the word of God. And they did, you know, which had not worshiped. I mean, or, or that they were smitten, you know, which struck with calamity because, you know, we refused to um, partake in the system. I mean, I don't know. It's just another, um, it's just another thought. Um, so it's just something, you know, if we don't see people being beheaded, um, that may, might not mean that it's not the mark. That That's my point here is um, that just because they're not, well, that might potentially be something different. I don't know. So give me, give me your thoughts and let me know what you think. Um, I just find that really interesting. I don't know why they wouldn't use that other word. Okay. I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you.